and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and it's that time again, time to look into the store because Wargaming have added new tanks, well they're not new tanks, but the new tanks to the store. We've still got the IS-2, SH, the T-22 crates, etc, etc in there from the last video, but we've had some new additions, mainly a tier 8, although there is a tier 10 collector in there. That's the tanks, that's what they look like, and we're going to start off with the Predatory T26 E4 Super Pershing, currently going for 5,500 gold. Tier 8, and for that you get quite a lot of stuff if you can see. Clearly you get the tank, you get an avatar, you get a garage slot, you also get 500,000 credits, 30 days of premium account, 9 equipment slots unlocked, the eagle attachment and the predatory camouflage. Wow, that's quite a lot for 5,500 gold. But what about the tank? Well, I actually like this tank. I think it's a nice tank. It's a good medium. Okay, it's got, you know, mediocre hit points. It's got mediocre view range. It's got mediocre DPM. It's got mediocre pen, mediocre da In fact, it's a mediocre tank on paper. This thing, however, has got some pretty funky armor. It, it is pretty difficult to pen it, especially when it goes haul down. That turret is rock solid. All right, it's not dishing out oodles of damage, and it does struggle a little bit with its penetration, but it's a nice tank, and it's a nice forgiving tank. I mean, you can be a complete and utter fool in this thing, and it's not really going to do you much wrong. It's an easy tank to get to grips with. It's not the fastest tank in the world for a medium. That's because they ploughed a load of additional armour on the top of it. But I like it. I mean, I think it's a nice little earner. And it's good on its credit of co-efficiency, funnily enough. Like I said, it's very difficult to go wrong in this tank. Okay, you're not gonna, it's not guaranteed to win every game, but you're guaranteed to have a nice time in it. You're guaranteed to bounce quite a few shots. And, it, you know, it's a nice all-round tier 8 heavy. That's easy to deal with, easy to drive, new and older player and veteran player alike. It's worth the look with everything you're getting. 5,500 gold? Well, I would give it serious consideration if I don't have it. Next up, we've got the M4A1 Revalerie's, the French Tier 8 Medium. This one's going for 5,000, and as you can see, it only comes with the tank and a garage slot. However, what a tank you're getting. Quite a few people don't like this tank for whatever reason. I think this tank is fantastic. Okay, hasn't got the best HP hasn't got the best view range, mediocre again. Hasn't got the best pen, mediocre again. But boy, the DPM on this thing is the second best in its tier for its class, and its damage is one of the best. I mean, this thing churns out a whopping 350 on its standard AP. Okay, it's not got the best pen, but DPM at 2,494, I mean, that's awesome. This is a fantastic little tank. Thing is, it is still a Sherman for all intents and purposes. So you've got effectively a tier six hull with a massive gun mounted on the top. The tank is pretty thin. You will bounce in it, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's not the tank's armor that makes this tank. It is that gun. That gun is super fantastic. It's pretty nippy as well. It's nicely mobile. I mean, look at it. I mean, this tank, I, I like it. And if you put it in the right spot and you, you don't play it frontline because you can't, you will have bundles of fun in this thing. It is just fantastic. And that gun is just awesome. It's not a forgiving tank like the T26 Super Pershing. This one is a bit trickier to play, but I like it. And for 5,000, I mean, that's not a bad price, guys. All right, you've still got to unlock the equipment and you only get the tank. You don't get any camo or anything, but it's worth a look, in my opinion. And don't forget, I mean, it's going for gold. We're not talking cash here. I'm only looking at the ones that are going for gold because those are the ones that are new in the store. It's got a super accurate gun, as you can see. And I, I, I just think it's a lovely little tank. And if you like your derp machines, well, this is a medium with a derp gun. What more could you want? 
Next, we're moving on to the T34 Independence, or as it says in my garage, the T34 1776. This is an American heavy, and it's been in the game a long time. And this is the T34 that comes with the funky donkey Independence uh, camouflage. Well, this tank gets sometimes a bit of a bad rap. Why? Well, its rate of fire is pretty poor. But, a couple of things you need to know. It has got the best pen for its tier, for its class. I mean, this will pen, you know, basically 248 millimeters of armor. I mean, this is huge. It has got the best HP for its tier, for its class, at 1,600. Mediocre view range, mediocre DPM. But penetration loss over distance is also the best for its tier. This thing is a beast haul down. Um, the armor on it, especially on the turret, is huge and you will bounce a lot of shots. I mean, look at this pen and look at the damage you're dissing out. So again, this is another one of those tanks that if you don't have it in your garage, it is really, really worth a look. This is another derpy gun going for 5,000 and for that you just get the garage slot and the tank. But if you don't have the tank, seriously, I would consider getting this. It's a good haul down tank. It's got a massive gun and it's nice to play. Moving on, we go to the T-34-100. Again, another one going for 5,000. Again, another tank that's only the tank and the garage slot. No equipment unlocked, etc., etc. But this one is a Russian medium. And you know what? A lot of people don't like this tank. A lot of people is not me. I do like this tank. I think this tank is quite nice. It's got one of the worst HP though, at 1350 for its tier and for its class. But it's got the best view range at over 300 meters. It's got mediocre DPM. It does struggle with its penetration, it's one of the worst. But it's got one of the best damages. It does have a very low rate of fire at only 7.92 and at a very long reload at 7.58. But you can deal with those because it has trolley armor. It does struggle to pen. Uh, you can see here I've had to switch to APCR, which is its premium ammunition. But, you know, I like this tank. I do like the T44-100. And 5,000 gold for a, a nice tier 8 premium medium in the Russian line? Yeah, again, it's worth the look. Would it be nicer had all the equipment been unlocked? You know, that would have made, that would have been the, like, the, the icing on the cake for me. This isn't a forgiving tank, again. Um, a lot of players will struggle with its gun because it does have very poor pen, to be honest with you. Unless you load APCR like I didn't know, you know. If you get the right shots in, like there, with the AP, then yeah, you, can, you will manage it. But it's not a bad gun. It's got pretty good aim. And, you know, the reload is long, but you can deal with it. The thing about this tank, armor. It's not exactly the most mobile of all tier eights mediums but it's a nice all-rounder some people were struggling it however because of the nature of the tank but i think it's worth a look we now move to one of my favorites in tier 8 the kv5 russian heavy another tank going for 5,000 gold and you just get the tank and you just get the garage slot so you can see there's a theme here this tank is a beast i mean it is a battleship Look at your turret. I mean, your turret is basically a, t a battleship's gun turret shoved on top of a hull that is just rock solid. You will generally bounce a lot of stuff in this thing. I mean, this thing is just super duper heavy weight. You're not going to pen me for sausages. It sits at 1,600 HP, which is a lot. That's, that's the same as the T-34, so this is the top in its tier for its class. DPM. Wow, it's pretty low, 1,949. Pen, wow, again, it's pretty low, 219. Damage, mediocre, 320. Rate of fire, well, you're going to get about six rounds a minute. Reload time is just shy of 10 seconds. But this tank makes up for all of that with its armor. Unlike the T-34, that needs to go haul down. You don't need to go haul down in this thing. Just make sure that you don't get anybody come around the back and smack one up your backside because that's pretty paper thin but look i mean it's just fantastic bounce a t34 there hello and get up close and personal whack him for a shed load of stuff i like this tank if you know how to play this tank 
and you, you're okay with your heavy, slow heavies, this is a beautiful, beautiful tank. Well worth the look. Finally, we get what they call the combative T95E6. This is the American Tier X collectible, it's not a premium. Comes with a garage slot, equipment unlocked, special camo and an avatar. This time for 17,500 gold, so it's pretty steep. Now, I freely admit, I am not a lover of this tank. I think its armour is paper thin. It, you really need to play it like a T62A. I mean, it is a medium after all. It's got mediocre HP, it's got great view range. Not bad DPM, not bad pen, not bad damage. The thing that makes this tank, however, is the uh, gun handling. It's a tricky tank and it's not for the faint hearted, I must admit. You know, if, if you're very competent in tier X, then this is a good tank to, to roll out in. I mean, it's one of those typical American mediums that is better hauled down than it is anything else. But you do have a large thing on the top of your tet. It does struggle to pen on some occasions, but it's manageable. You can deal with that. It's a typical American gun. Dishes out nice damage. But the thing about this tank is, like I said, the reload and the aim time is pretty good. Things will pen you left, right and centre, but you can have fun in this thing. It's a collectible, so it's not a premium. Credit wise, it's not too bad, I must admit, but 17,500 for a tier 10? Well, that's not a bad price, like I said, I mean, it does struggle to pen. It's not a bad price, and once you get used to the tank, you will enjoy it. There aren't many of them out there, so it's not a bad tank to look into. It would have been better, however, if the price was a little bit lower. But then if it was lower, everybody would be buying tier X tanks and that would annoy everyone. It is worth a look. Don't think you're getting a T22, however, you're not, guys. You're, you're not getting a T22. Anyway, that has been my quick overview of what is currently in the store. I've been Fujit. If I was you, I would be strongly looking at any of these tanks, to be honest with you. I mean, the prices aren't too bad at all. They're pretty good. The uh, the mediums, apart from the T26, obviously are coming without equipment, etc., etc. The only ones that do that are the T26 and the T95. But they're still worth a look. 5,000 gold, not bad price at all. Anyway, by all means comment and like and all the other stuff below if you haven't yet subscribed please do so it's a lovely thing to do send me your replays to fujitsblitz at gmail.com or upload them to my discord server and until the next time stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about having fun and being happy